Hey, hey guys! Surprise! I didn't plan on going live today, uh, but here I am. I've got stuff to show you. Lots and lots of stuff to show you. Let's see. Have, it says I've been live for four minutes. That's not right, is it? No. Hey guys, I see a few of you jumping on. I'm wondering if I will be able to see comments today. Let's see. All right. So for all of you who are curious, I thought we'd do what some people call a catalog haul video. Basically, let me see what you ordered video. And so that's what we're gonna do. Hi guys. Um, I overnighted my order. Um, I am so impatient that there's no way I could not <laughs> overnight it. Okay, so um, just clear warning today, there are workers in the yard and the dogs are crazy. But other than that, guys, no kids at the house. First time in three months, I think, that I have been at the house by myself. And it feels awesome. Um, today was my littlest, Addie, her fifth grade promotion. So we did that and then the neighbor invited them all over for a pool, little mini pool party um, with another neighbor. So they're over there swimming. Hopefully they swim for hours and hours and hours. I've got a lot to do now, as you can see. All right, so you guys ready? All right, good. I can see your comments today, yay, good. Okay, so I actually had three boxes and I opened them all because I ordered stuff that y'all wouldn't care about seeing, like cardstock and duplicates of things. Um, so I put it all in one box so we could look at it. All right, are you guys ready? How many people do we have? I wanna give everybody a minute. We're good, we're ready, right? Okay, so who said, I just saw, was it Lisa? She says, I want nothing better than, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering the name of that. Nothing's better than, this is Connie's million dollar set, and it's very cute, super cute. We'll find the dies here in a second. Um, I got Hooray to You. I couldn't remember if I ordered that one, but I did. That one's a good one. I like in the catalog where they colored it with markers so that when you stamp it, it's a different color. Um, so you could color the flowers all one color and the font a color and then stamp it. And one thing I've been doing when I marker right directly on my stamps is I'm using my stamp apparatus so that, cause you know, sometimes when you, when you do that and you stamp with your markers, um, it's kind of like washed out a little bit and uneven. So if you do it on your stamp apparatus, you can stamp it, open it, color again with your markers and stamp it again and get a really good solid image. Um, so that was my thoughts on that. Here's Comfort and Hope. This is kind of one of those texture stamps. Um, we got this for free. It is red rubber. Um, in case you guys don't know, I always get this question and I feel badly about not explaining it. We have two different kinds of stamps. As you can see here, these are photopolymer and these are clear mount. So clear mount is kind of a misnomer, right? Because they're not clear. Um, you peel the back off and you put it on your sticker and then you put it on a clear block. And these are just ready to go. You, you peel them off the sheet and put them on your clear block. There are probably positives and negatives to both. I don't really have a preference, honestly. Um, if I had to choose, I probably would go with photopolymer because they're clear. I love, and they're like less work. You know, when you get this, you have to put the stickers on. And in case you guys have never seen, I have never shown anybody how to do this on the video, so let's just do it real quick. And I try to, when I get my stamp sets, um, I try, if the first time I use it, when I open it to go use it, I make myself put all the stickers on right then. Otherwise, I'll never do it. So you peel off the sticker from the middle, okay? If I can get it, hello. So you peel off the sticker. And then you punch it out 
like this, and you pull off this backing. Now this will stick right to your block, no problem. That's how we used to do it when our stickers weren't very sticky, but now the stickers are awesome. Um, and then you just stick it right down carefully like that. Push it down and then you peel it up. And then it has the image on the back so you can um, put on your clear block and it's very sticky. In the beginning, they're very, very sticky. All right, so that's that red rubber. Hey, everybody who's joining in. Um, you're right, Les, you're right. They're not clear mount. They're cling mount. You're right. I'm sorry, they're cling. Cling stamp. I call them clear mount. They used to be called clear mount. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Cling mount. You, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. All right, round of applause. That one is red rubber. That'll be good. I'm gonna make my daughter's best friend's graduation card this weekend. Um, oh, here's the whale done. Very cute. I love the whale. Thanks a ton. Well done. My love for you is bigger than the ocean. Cute. You're kind of a big deal. I love that sentiment. Um, I have a group of friends that we used to say that all the time. It was like a big joke. I'm kind of a big deal. That's hilarious. I love it. I didn't even notice that. Hoping all your birthday fishes come true. And so that's photopolymer. And then there's the punch that goes with it right there. So the punch will punch out the whale or you can punch the whale out of cardstock or both and then punch out these different colors. Very cool. Nice, clean, unmarred punch. You guys see that? It's nice and clean. All right. What else? Did I get two of these? I guess I did for a prize. For a prize. All right. Yes, I ordered duplicates of something so that I would have prizes. All right. Um, dry brush. That's a background stamp. All right. And you put that big sticker on there. That one's going to be a good one. I love background stamps. I'm trying to... How many of these did I order? How did I order three of these? Oh, I guess I ordered two for a prize. All right. Well, all right. See, that's what happens when I'm so frantic when the catalog goes live. I order things by mistake, duplicates, and then I forget things on my order. <laughs> so much happy. Okay, there's dies that go with this. There's dies that go with all of these. I should have... I guess I should have got... Um, I should have gotten them organized. All right, well, let's do these first. This is Love You More Than. So that's this stamp set. Nothing's right, nothing's better than, and then Love You love you More Than. I think that's what the dies are called. <sighs> yeah, this one seems to be really popular, Kathy. Lots of people are saying that this is the one that they want. And like I was saying yesterday, it was really hard to see the dies. Um, but they're words. I like word dies because that sometimes that means you don't have to put a sentiment on your card. And then these dies, of course, match the images. This is a big set, 26 stamps. It's quite a big set. Um, today's plan, consume chocolate. Today's plan, consume cocktails. <laughs> what kind of day are you having? Is it a chocolate day? Is it a cocktail day? And some of you... It's a coffee day. Mine would say Diet Coke. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see. Pets dies. Okay, let's see. I saw the pets over here. Pampered pets. Always in your heart. So sorry for your loss. Oh, I hope your day is a real treat. He's so cute. So cute. He's going to be fun to color. This is red rubber. Cling mount. Cling. Maybe it's not even mount anymore. Cling. Okay, come on. When isn't chocolate day, Debbie? You're right, especially during the last three months. My gosh, I have done a lot of emotional eating the last three months and I don't usually consider myself an emotional eater. Oops, sorry, and there are the dies. They looked really big in the catalog and so I was interested to see. So they're not quite that big. So that cuts that guy out. And then we've got the cat, the two cats, the dog, and then little paw prints. So five dies, and I'll show you the paper in a minute. I'm excited to see the paper. All right, peony. 
the peony. Um, somebody emailed me yesterday to tell me the correct pronunciation, and I told her that that's how I said it in my head, but it didn't really sound like that when it came out of my mouth. The peony, wow. So that looks very different, doesn't it, from the samples. Where's my stamp set? What the heck? Is that it? Yeah. Hmm. If you guys have looked at those samples in the catalog, this is going to definitely need some um, tutorial, right? So I, I, you cut these out and you layer up that flower to make that beautiful cardstock pe peony <laughs> um, that you see in the catalog. And then look at this. I didn't even see this. Can you guys see that? I love me some border dies. Love, love, love. All right, so there is that. I guess all the dies are flower parts, right? There's no like label except for the the one border. Um, thanks, Kathy. It's time to get them done again. Oh, look, zany zebras. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. This is top five from the catalog for me. I love this set. Very cute. All right, the wreath, a range of wreath. Did anybody order this one? I really liked this one. Um, it's cutesy. You know, I, I gravitate to the cutesy. Um, where are those dies? Here it is, wreath builder dies. And this one is cutesy. Um, so right up my alley. And it had that little sunflower wreath um, sample that was really cute. All right, let's see what the dies look like. Whoa, there is a lot of dies right here. If you're ever wondering if you're missing a die, you can look right here on the package and it says 21, especially like me when I was pulling out all my retired stuff and trying to get them organized. That was very helpful. So that's cute, the little heart that says love. We've got lots of flowers, eggs, an egg die. That'll be very good at Easter. Um, hearts, pears leaf like a you know like a fall leaf a bow what is that do you think hmm I don't know is that part of the bow looks like part of the bow right I don't know I have to look at the samples um and a partridge and a pear tree that's what I think it's just a bird I don't know okay arrange a wreath and so what is that right there? Is that like a box? I need to look at the samples, don't I? All I can remember is the sunflower wreath. Um, Kathy, no, I don't put my dies in with my stamps, although, I'm gonna show you, although I have actually been considering that every year when I, the retired list comes out and I have to get all my dies organized, it is a pain. Um, and so I've kind of been considering doing that, but I get these cards from um, these magnetic little cards from Stampin' and Storage. You can get similar things from Amazon. You can use magnetic vent covers from the hardware store. And I have a box with them all in there. I like to have them out, not in my stamp sets, because sometimes I need something, you know, like for a project that's not necessarily in that set. You know, like I might need a heart. So I don't wanna to have to go find the stamp set and open it to find that die. Or I just like to kind of flip through them. But they do get kind of, well, in my craft space, they get kind of messy. Sometimes they fall off down in there or they'll stick to another card and you can't find it. Um, but I don't know, I don't know. That's just how I do it. There's lots of different ways to store those dies. Okay, here's the cute, cute ha hippo happiness. <laughs> when in doubt, be a unicorn. <laughs> that's funny. Um, you are special. That's cute. Hippo, hippo birthday. Fluttering by just to say hi. Thank you so much to you. Now this is Robin Carden stamp set, and I I need to find out her. Um, you know, like why she chose to design her stamp set around these cute little critters. I don't know, I, I don't know anything about the history of hers. Like like Rhonda, I told you guys yesterday, Rhonda's story about hers. All right, so let's see. 
Now this is one, like, so this is one that I wouldn't want stored with the stamps because I'm gonna use these a lot, a lot. These like label, you know? And so if it was in the stamp set, I would forget about them. You know what I'm saying? Do you, are you guys like that? If I put it in the stamp set and put it in the cabinet, I will not remember that they're there. And I know some people like, like make a little binder of what they have, but I'm not <laughs> that organized. Um, you know, you could take photos or whatever. It's really, really cute. Um, I like these, these whatever they are, the labels, the tags, a lot. Oh look, a little bow tie, a little, um, you know, like a little squiggly line. Very cute. Robin did good, it's cute. All right, here is an embossing folder. This one's beautiful. This is the one that goes with the whale and it is called, hold on and I'll tell you. I don't know what anything is called yet. You're the same, Carrie, yeah. Okay, um, seabed. Ooh, it's very um, elegant, don't you think? Elegant looking, that's really pretty. I like it. Um, that, that's a six by six too. It, I don't know if that's a 3D, what does it say? It, does, it doesn't feel quite as thick as those 3D. Oh yeah, it does say 3D embossing folder. Yeah. All right, camo, how fun is that gonna be? We, we have a lot of camo around here. Um, the right triangle. This one is interesting. I'm not totally sure about it, I'm, what I'm gonna do with it. I love it, but I'm not sure yet. I do love it, it has one gingham right there. And then it has the stitch triangle, so you know if it's stitched, I'm buying it. Oh look, a little stitched pennant too. And that, that's interesting. Does that cut those triangles out? Wow, so that's like a, you know, like a like a border, so it would, it would leave that pattern and maybe like the side of your card and that too. Ooh, and teeny tiny triangles. Really cool, ooh, I like, okay, all right. I can see myself using this one. This is gonna be fun. You can make a pizza, <laughs> a stitched pizza. How cute would that be? Lots of possibilities. So much happy, happy dies. Now, this isn't the only order I put in yesterday. I actually had to order quite a bit of stuff yesterday. Um, I, I went ahead and ordered um, stuff for those of you who've registered for the Sunflower class. I ordered In Color Club. I ordered um, stuff for Creative Convention, which is for my team. So I added stuff, added my stuff to each of those orders. Um, as well, so things will be trickling in. And I can't remember what I ordered, when and where. Um, so this, these are the dies that go with this, so much happy. Um, a balloon, a little squiggly, a little, like, that looks like a cloud background, that's really good. Um, and then these are just like a stitch line, and these are, you know, like to create texture on your card. That's a really good uh, banner pennant. And the happy star balloon, that's a great set. That would get, that would cover quite a lot of, oh look, it says graduation too. Happy graduation, hmm. I don't know, it's gonna be hard for me to decide which one to use. All right, so is that all the stamp sets? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I got my in color inks. Very, very excited about that. It's been hard <laughs> trying to plan projects and design things with the in colors and not have the inks. So thank goodness I have the inks. And where's my, let me get my um, box cutter. I lost my box cutter and I think I might have thrown it away in a box. I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I would have done that. But my husband bought me another one. He doesn't want me using his. <laughs> so in case you guys don't know, I need a little scissors. In case you guys don't know, Hopefully you do. When you buy your inks, there are these stickers on the background and they're in different languages. So you can get this. And I have to remember which, do I put it on? Yeah, so put it here, right there. That way when you have it stored, you can see what color it is. 
Now you can also take, there's a blank one right here, and I don't always do this, this part, but if you're a demonstrator and you have classes and you have open ink pads on your table, remember they're real stiff when they're new guys, so don't panic. You can put that right, it's kind of hard to do, especially when you're not on a flat surface. Put that one right there. So then if you have your ink pads open, you're not, you're gonna be able to tell what colors you have, what you're using, and you won't stamp the wrong ink pad. I'm sure you guys have done that. Okay, here is a Stampin' Seal, and Stampin' Seal Plus, I, did I just grab refills? No, here they are. When I'm done unpacking this box, we're gonna give this a try. And I want you guys to know, I just posted, um, there was a little, there's a little bit of a glitch on the Stampin' Seal Plus on the store, at the store. The little plus at the end of the URL is causing some problems. So they said, if you click on stamp and seal and you get an error message, delete all the stuff after the number. So it's like, it says item number 149699, then it's slash stamp and seal plus. So if you just delete stamp and seal plus and then hit enter, it'll bring it up. I just deleted the plus and it worked for me. Um, but I, I posted that here on Facebook in case you're having trouble, go check it out. All right, new stamp and blends. Okay, this I'm really, really excited about. You know, now we're not gonna be selling individual light and dark. Now they're coming in a cello bag as the pair. And you will only understand this if you have had a class or something and you get like 50, where's my other, I have more, I don't know where they are. If you get um, 50 um, Stampin', uh, what are these called, Stampin' Blends in your box and then you have to sort them out, dark light, dark light, because then they all, you're, they all start looking the same and it is, and you have to like look at it and your eyes are, you know, having a hard time seeing. So anyways, thank you Stampin' Up for us, this makes a huge difference when trying to sort out orders and, and things for classes. So I got all the end colors, they must be in here somewhere, and uh, Melon Mambo. Yes, Melon Mambo. Um, I'm going back, I'm missing your words. I don't think pizza triangles are right angles. Well, Michelle, they're, yeah, look. This one right here, that's a pizza, that's totally a pizza. That's probably not, and that's probably not, unless it's a square pizza, but that one's totally a pizza. Um, okay. Let's see. Another embossing folder. This one is called Dainty Diamonds. Ooh la la, Dainty Diamonds. I wonder who names all of these things. That's nice, just kind of a... A, you know, why can I not open it? Come on, come on, there we go. It's me, not the embossing folder. It's my fingers. Um, that's a good, just kind of a subtle, small pattern background. Um, these are the uh, in color enamel dots. They're already on back order. They actually may even be unorderable right now. They went on back order on my first order, like I was already, I mean, I was already entering them in my first order and they were on back order, so. But they'll they will be back. Um, you guys have to remember some of this stuff does come from overseas and that's slowing everything down, as we know. So this summer, we may just have to be super patient with some of this stuff, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Michelle, I swallow my pizza. Um, that's funny. Um, pizzas come in all shapes and sizes, right? It's all right. Um, these are pretty. Elegant faceted gems. I don't think the catalog does these justice. These are very pretty. They look um, like old timey buttons, but they're, but they're small. But those are really cute. And then these are good playing with patterns, resin dots. And these are kind of matte finish. These go with that paper that, here are those doilies I told you guys about. I really like these. I, I um, wasn't a big fan of the last doilies that we had. 
But I do like these. They're subtle. See that? I like them. And you could probably sponge them too, turn them a different color. Um, what else do we have? These are so cute, butterfly gems. They, I, I don't know, they, I call them sequins, but I guess they're plastic. And they're in, aren't these in the end colors or no? The old end colors? Yeah, so that would be um, Tranquil Tide. Now I can't remember any of the old end colors. How quickly we forget them when the new end colors are here. Purple Posy, Terracotta Tile. What's that? I can't even remember. I don't know. Are these same color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, probably. I have to. Oh, Ro Rococo Rose. That's what that is. That's terracotta tile. And um, sea spray, seaside spray, or whatever. The other one, the light blue. Ooh, look at those. Those are interesting. Um, and they, I can see, are in different colors. I'm sure. Um, Debbie, the, the dots that I just showed, um, which ones, Debbie? The butterflies or the larger dots or the fancy dots? These are the fancy. These are the larger, plain with patterns, and these are the butterflies. Which ones? It's peacock something. Pretty peacock. That's it. Not tranquil tide, right? Pretty peacock. Tranquil tide is the old in color. Boy. Oh, my brain. Can't remember anything these days. All right, so here are these. These are these are cool. These are like metallic. Ooh, look at that. Metallic. Very pretty. Y'all are funny. You're like, hello, Erica. It's pretty peacock. Y'all know I can't remember these things. Okay, what else? The markers, in color markers. Um, things are falling off. Let's see. Debbie, the playing with patterns. They are, yes, they're very flat. I'll open them. I mean, obviously they're not paper flat, but they are really flat. If you can see, oops, I'm out of the camera. Uh oh, here comes UPS, y'all, get ready. I wonder if it's another Stampin' Up box. Please don't knock on the door, please don't knock on the door. Okay, good, he's leaving. Haha, uh -huh, Charlie slipped through it. All right. This I'm really excited about. These are the three and an eight, three by three and an eight acetate boxes. I told y'all I have an idea for something for these. We'll see if it pans out. Oh, it hmm, it opens at the top. Okay. That's different. I was thinking it would open. Hmm. That may not work. So, but anyway, these are cute. They're like our big card, acetate card boxes, but they're small. I'm seeing candy in these instead of three by three cards, right? Very cute. Okay, the mason jar shaker domes. Um, I think these are a back order, right? Already till the end of the month. I think you get 10 in a little box. That's how they look. Um, okay, so adhesive. These are the foam adhesive sheets. So imagine a giant Stampin' Dimensional. And it's probably thicker than a Stampin' Dimensional. Well, no, it feels like a sheet of dimensionals. So you can die cut. They show in the catalog those little letter dies. Um, you know, this would be good just to cut a long strip or something or a rectangle to put to layer, you know, your layer pieces instead of five or six dimensionals. I don't know, that's interesting. Interesting, we'll have to see what everybody does with those. And then here are the adhesive sheets. Somebody yesterday, and I can't remember who it was, I saw the comment way later, like last night, said the die cut words are hard to glue onto your cards, and they are. Um, but these are adhesive sheets. So you put your cardstock, you lay your cardstock on it. You cut it off, however big your cardstock is. Then you put it in the die cut machine and you put your, your die cut letters on top of the cardstock. You run it through. And then when you, so you have your, let's say your letter A, then you can peel off the adhesive on the back and it's like a sticker. So it sticks 
no adhesive. You know, you don't need adhesive to put it on your card. I'm so glad we have these. We had them for a while. They went away. We had them again. They went away. And now they're back. So yay. Okay. I have been waiting to see these. These are the mini paper pumpkin boxes. All right. Let's see how big they are. Let's see. Don't you love when a box just comes and you can assemble? Makes things easy. These are um, these are pretty big. They are it's waxy on the inside, so it'll be you know if you bake something, it's not gonna um, leave a grease stain. It's coated, and they're just cute little little tiny paper pumpkin boxes so cute um and they're matte on the outside so you can spritz or roll ink on them um you could cover them with paper you can stamp on them they're very very cute let's see how does this go okay so these go in and then these go like that and there it is let's see let's compare the size Okay, so that's it next to an ink pad, right? Let's see, I have a, a paper pumpkin box over here, a re regular paper pumpkin box. It's much smaller. Here's the paper pumpkin box. There's the mini, the baby. So cute. So, so, so cute. That was really smart of stamping up. I would never have thought to make baby paper pumpkin boxes. Okay, here's my other blend. I'm gonna take this box down so we can look through the paper and the embellishments and the kits. Oh, and I have another kit. I guess I left it on the counter. Okay, let me pull this down and we'll look through. Let's do paper last. Okay, so espresso ribbon, playing with patterns ribbon combo pack. There's several combo ribbon packs um, in the catalog. Look at this one. This is, is this Coastal Cabana or is this Pool Party? It looks very Coastal Cabana-ish. Ooh, cute. Or, I don't know, Bermuda Bay. I think that's Coastal Cabana. That's cute. It's sheer, very cute. And then that one's just like a cotton ribbon. And that one looks to be like a skinny satin ribbon. And those go with the playing with patterns paper, which I'll open just a sec. Um, this is the, the ribbon that goes with the playful pets. So black and white twine, which I love. And then a real skinny red ribbon. I'll be using those a lot, I can tell. All right, this is, what is it called? Boho Indigo Product Medley. We talked about this yesterday when we went through the catalog. This is a $70 product medley and it includes everything you need to make whatever you want. Stamps, dyes, paper. Um, I think there's an ink spot in here, a block, right? Well, let's just see. We've had several of these. Um, er, the rosy, remember the rosy kit and which other ones? Oh, the other one mm, and a Christmas one. Why am I so bad with names? Good grief. All right. So here's, let's look at the ribbon. It's right on the tip of my tongue. That, uh, that one that was just in the last catalog. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So that's a thick ribbon, but it's, can you guys see? It's like frayed on the outside or or just it has um, some kind of edging on it. That's neat. That I've never, we've never had anything like that. And then this, I won't open this one. This is just a, a smaller like gold or maybe bumblebee. Here's the stamp set. These are really pretty. A bunch of birthday love to you. Such happy news. Sorry, you're feeling blue. That's cute. Thank you. And then, and this can be a half price item. So if you put in an order or you have a group order that's um, over, um, what is it? 400, 450, you can get a half price item. And this one can be your half price item. All right, so let's look at the paper. Very pretty. Whoops. Here are the die cuts. 
and they have gold on them, gold foil. Ooh, I like that pattern. French country is what that reminds me of. Ooh, look, those are nice too. Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. Now, remind me, isn't there a refill kit this time for this? I think there is. Here's two embossed pieces of vanilla. I think this time, right, they're offering a refill. So if you buy it and you use up all the paper and you want more, I think there's um, a refill. Yes, Denise? Yeah, I was like, did I dream that? Oh, cute, little flowers. They're cute. How much is the refill kit? Does anybody have their catalog handy? Look, can you guys see how cute that is? It's like a little wooden button in the middle and then there's little tiny ones too. I really think I might do a class with this. I really, really like it a lot. This, um, I love that Everything Rosie kit and I, I loved everything in that. And I didn't do a class with it. It was a limited, remember it was just a limited um, time order. And there are the dies. So you have the vases and you have smaller vases too. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different vase dies. That's like the flower, that flower. These are those flowers. And then the, oh look! That reminds me of the um, tropical dies that just retired. Good. That's a great one right there. Yeah, you guys, I feel like this is going to be really popular. I like it a whole bunch. A whole bunch. $23 a refill. Excellent. Thank you, guys. $23. That's good. So if you buy it at $70 and then you use it up and you want the consumables, you can buy the refill. I like that option a lot. Okay, so let's look at Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper. Rainbow, that's cute. This looks retro-ish. This reminds me of that paper we had a few years ago that looked like the 80s. Do you guys remember that paper? That's what this one reminds me of. It's cute, very cute. Calypso Coral maybe, or Terracotta Tile and Purple Posy. Bumblebee maybe, cute, like it. This is, oh, this is that beautiful whale paper. Ugh, that's so cute. That looks like a little storybook, doesn't it? Like a yeah, little children's book. That is so pretty. Wouldn't this make a cute, six by six scrapbook album. And you could, like for a child, you could make a little a little book for them. Or if you're like, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Or you're scrapbooking a summer trip. This would make great, a little great six by six album. Ooh, I like that pattern too. I like busy patterns sometimes, but I really like when it's just like a monochromatic you know, simple pattern. Those whales, they are awesome. I wonder who illustrated the, this paper, who painted it or drew it. Sometimes it's the Stampin' Up! artists that do it, the concept artist or somebody else in the company. They'll tell us. Very pretty. I really, really like that paper. Okay, now these, I won't open these, but these are the ones that I keep going on and on and on about to you guys. These are the six by six color family stacks right so okay i have a duplicate let me put that over here so we have this is the olden colors this is the regals this is the brights this is the neutrals and this is the subtles and then of course we have the current in colors which you guys have seen let me open this up real quick the brights let's just look how pretty it is oh i love that polka dot oh look melon mambo we can't skip over it Mango, I love mango. That must be Poppy Parade, Florida Flamingo, Bermuda Bay, gorgeous grape. I strongly recommend this. If you like to coordinate your colors and sometimes you need a piece of paper in a certain color, you can just go and pull those and you have it. 
All right. I'm looking to see. Um, Carol says she's not fond of six by six DSP. Um, you know, I know, I know what you're saying. As a scrapbooker, I totally get that. And even as a card maker, I get that too. Um, they made six by six paper for card makers, really, so that you have smaller pieces, I believe. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I have a different um, take on paper because I'm using it in classes. So, you know, for me, I do want the bigger sheets. I can, I feel like sometimes we need bigger pieces um, or I can cut up, you know, like I can get more out of a, a uh, 12 by 12 piece than whatever, six by six. But I don't know. I, it's interesting that you guys say that. I wonder what, if, if more people buy the 12 by 12 than the six by six. I mean, I hear you. I know. I, I don't totally hate it. But if, if I had to choose, you're right, I would choose 12 by 12. Okay, here is my favorite, Playful Pets. Do you see your pet? Do you see? We've got cute, cute, cute little pups. Um, a Yorkie, right? That looks like a Yorkie. And a wiener dog. And a, did we decide yesterday a Shih Tzu or a Pekingese? Maybe it could be either. And then I think he's a schnauzer. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, good. A simple stripe. Oh, here's some more dogs. Those must be the small dogs. And these are the big dogs. Look, and he looks like Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. We've got, that looks like maybe a Chow, maybe a Great Dane, a German Shepherd. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at that paper. So cute. Okay, now here's from my cat people. I don't know anything about cats. Nothing, so I can't tell you what they are, but they're cute. So cute. Do you recognize your kitty? There's a little, <laughs> I guess it's like little, little hair, little fur, or maybe scratch marks. Here's some more kitties. Look, there's grumpy cat, scared cat, sneaky cat, sleepy cat. So cute, so cute. And the little fish with the heart. So that would be, the cat paper, right? And this would be the dog paper. And a little, the little um, dog bowl. Um, that It looks like it's, this piece looks watercolored, but I don't know if those look, those don't really look watercolored. Um, oh, here's our black and white paper, guys. <laughs> I know, we need black and white paper stamping up. And now we've got it except that it says woof, bark, dig, chase, stretch, wag, play, love. <laughs> Here's the cat version. And it says purr, snooze, yawn, paw, jump, love, meow. Very, very, very cute. Good job stamping up. That is a good pack of paper right there. I love it. It's going to go so well with that um, little pet. Sweet. Okay. Peony, did I say it right? The peony garden paper. Let's just flip through, ooh, marble. Gosh, my daughter, she loves marble. Like marble pattern, I don't know why. So I always think of her. Black and white roses, or gray and white. Little um, sear sand, maybe? Yeah, Shelly, get that pet paper. You know you like it, it's so cute. Labrador, so I go with a punch. Yeah, Mary, that's true. The Labrador does look like the punch. Ooh, I like that. That looks masculine, doesn't it? Pretty. That pinky color with, oh, that's probably, no, that's probably gray granite, huh? Hello, not Sierra Sand, gray granite, I would think. You know, it always will tell you in the back. Oh, basic gray, gray granite, petal pink. And then that way, look, do you guys see a stupid fly? For days he has been stalking me and as soon as I get the fly swatter that little jerk he's just sitting right there on that paper as soon as I get the fly swatter he disappears get out of here Gosh, ridiculous all right I um thought I would pull this out too I've showed you guys this paper um, but it's worth showing again this is the 
tasteful textures no in good taste i can't i don't know why i can't remember that name either basic gray early espresso gray granite night of navy petal pink rococo rose smoky slate very vanilla whisper white and um i intend to use this a lot that pink is cute wouldn't that make a cute baby card very cute and i really like that whatever that texture is i used that the other day that it looks very similar to that other paper that we just looked at the boho cute 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 okay what's this this is color velveteen paper um stephanie you know the goat said i ordered it it must be coming in another order i ordered that as well i know i did I only expedited, I only overnighted one of my orders because that would be crazy to expedite all the other things. Um, but so they'll be here soon. All right, so these are just those velvet flocked paper. Um, gorgeous grape, right? Or is that, no, that must be Highland Heather. It doesn't tell me. Highland Heather, I would say that's cinnamon cider and um, soft sea foam. Don't quote me, I'm just guessing. Here's this paper, we looked at this paper already, so I'm not gonna show you that. And this one is also kind of retro, reminds me of the 90s maybe. And this one is called Artsy Blooms, 12 by 12. Ooh, oh wait, I gotta take that all the way out. Wow, gorgeous. I like that, look at that. That's very, very pretty. Oh, I'm not even showing you this side. I, oh, that's cute. That's very cute. It looks almost like giraffe print, doesn't it? Hmm, I, like, I think I like the back sides more than the front sides. Well, I guess it doesn't, one's not necessarily the front, one's not necessarily the back. Blue, oh, monochromatic. These are, these are much prettier in person. The catalog did not do those justice. Wow, that looks almost like a sky, a night, stormy sky or something. Very pretty. There you go. All right, one more. We're almost to the end. And I can hear the collective gasp all across the world. Look at this, rainbow glimmer paper. That looks like a popsicle to me, doesn't it? Can you guys see it? It's gorgeous. Wow. That's gonna be one that's hard hard to use because you don't wanna <laughs> you don't wanna mess it up, you know? Oh, you don't wanna disturb how beautiful it is. Okay, wait, I have that other kit. Let me see which one this is, and then we'll look at the adhesive. Great for scrapbooking. I thought that too, Debbie. Those pieces, the if you cut it like a long ways, and so you get a little taste of that whole rainbow there. All right, this one is Gorgeous Posies. This is the one that I forgot to order the stamp set <laughs> But that's okay. I actually put it in another order last night. I added it. And the fruit. I had to order something for customers. It's okay. It's all right. Don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying that to my husband, really. Um, okay. That box is adorable. Holy cow. That looks like a little jewelry box. Like when I was a kid. That is so adorable. Cute. You know, they've been making cute boxes for a while, but this one is really nice. All right. So very, very pretty color combination on these. Um, I like the purples and green and pink very soft and pretty so this is a kit um, and it's going unlike the boho it comes with instructions and it comes with this oh how cute are those it comes with um you know the, the directions and everything you need to make a set of cards which then will go in your beautiful little box like that all right, so we have some die cuts. Whoa, they're already coming out. Better put those down. And these, those are very like 
um, dainty. They feel very, I don't know, delicate. That's the word, delicate. Cute, cute. Oh, I love all those. We need a die set for these. Those are beautiful. And then, oh, look, Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape Twine and Ribbon. And so then you get the directions and it'll tell you, it'll show you how to make your cards. This looks like a pretty easy kit too. I'll put it together and I'll let you know. All right, last but not least, let's look at that adhesive. I hope you guys added one on to your order so you can give it a try. Let's try stamp and seal first. So stamp and seal is the alternative to snail. If you use snail, it's just a regular tape runner. Oh, wow, it's bigger than I thought. Let me get some paper. Oh my gosh, my office is a mess. Okay, hold on, let me get some paper. What should we use? We'll just use crumb cake because remember I ordered like way too much crumb cake. Okay, I, hey guys, I've never even held this in my hand. So go easy on me, okay? I have no idea. And they they sent us a video and I didn't watch it. I, I didn't have time. All right, so they say, I do know that they say you don't have to do the check mark, okay? Just You can just pull up. But I'm so used to doing that, I don't think I'll ever be able to not do that. Um, and they said, like, if you do happen to do that, you know, like, whoops, then you just, you know, roll it. Wow, it's really easy, really easy. And um, it feels good in my hand. It's much bigger. Let's look at a snail. It is much bigger. Now, you know, I feel like I, I feel like I am not, I don't have room to really compare because I don't, I have hardly ever used snail. Um, I always use fast fuse and before that I, I use something else. Um, so there it is, size compar comparatively. It feels good. I think that right there is what makes it feel good. Same, it's very similar. Just take that out, throw that away, put the refill in. All right, so that's that. And then they made all my dreams come true <laughs> and brought something to replace the fast views. All right, so let's see. It's similar, it's very similar. The darker is the seal plus and the lighter is the seal. It has, oh, it has a little thing. Did the, sna did the snails have this? I don't remember. I'll never remember to put that back on, ever. But it's a good idea. Okay, oh yeah, okay. Interesting, can you guys see that? It's like little segments. That's probably the design to help it from, you know, like fast fuse, you'd like pull it up and it would stretch out and that's really cool. So you, can you see the difference in the two? I don't know if you guys with the light, can you see? So this is the plus right here, and this is the regular down here. And it does feel, they both feel very sticky. But this one is supposed to be, uh-oh, this one is supposed to be stronger. It did rip my cardstock. Hmm. Time will tell. We'll have to see. But I'm very excited about it. Very excited about it. And here are the refills, right? And I should I should stick something to it so we can see how how stuck it is. Let's see. Do I have a little piece of something? Yeah. Look, it's it's pretty stuck. And over here. Yeah, they're definitely not repositionable. That is stickier than snail, right? Because snail you could easily pull off. That's much stickier than snail. And then that one rips. So you see the difference? That one's stronger. It's going to rip up when I bring that up. And then that one's just, it is still hard to, it's going to rip too. Yeah. 
<clears throat> All right. I want you guys to play with your seal and your seal plus. Yeah, you know, Jenny, I can't not check it. I always have to do the check. It's, I mean, you know, it's like muscle memory now. Um, and I, you know what? That crumb cake cardstock I find rips a lot anyway. So yeah, see? Oh, I like it. I really like the way it feels. I, oh, it's so hard for me not to do the check. <laughs> I tried. There. Pretty, you guys. <laughs> Pretty and easy. I'm so excited. Um, it has those little, you know, the little segments. All right. I can't wait. We'll use this tomorrow for Facebook Friday. We'll put them to use. We'll see if they behave. Um, how they they uh, have promised us that they will. I can't wait. I feel pretty confident about them. Lisa says her snail always came apart in the mail. Yeah, I know. I have seen that too. Um, the mail will test the new glues. Yeah. The snail just fell apart. Stuff just wouldn't stay stuck. Um, and uh, these definitely seem much stickier than snail. That's why I didn't use snail because it just didn't feel very sticky to me. Um, I don't know. I always kind of felt like it wasn't going to hold. Almost like it was a, like a repositional um, adhesive, you know, those. But anyways, all right. Tomorrow we will put our the stamp and seal and stamp and seal plus to work and we will see how it how it holds up. Um, I will be live tomorrow at two o'clock. I may have more new stuff to show you tomorrow. We're gonna do um, three cards using the Forever Fern. Is that the name? <laughs> Forever Fern? The you know the greenery set that's so beautiful. Um, and that's it tomorrow, two o'clock central. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Thanks for <laughs> going easy on me because I can't remember anything um, what it's called I can't remember the names maybe by December I'll have names down all right you guys have a great day and I will see you in about 24 hours all right bye guys <laughs>